I'm Sarah Beeson with Ben Fonts and Stuart Jackson at Memorial Stadium where the Indiana Hoosiers just defeated the North Texas Mean Green 49 to 24. In the press conference, lots of great talk about the offense. Ben, we'll start with you. Nate Sudfeld, 23 completions with 29 attempts. What was working so well for them today? You know, uh, they were able to get the ball deep to Shane Wynn for really the first time all season, which was very encouraging for IU fans. That's going to open up the run game more, which was an, an issue against Maryland. But today they were able to, you know, rush for over 300 yards combined. Uh, they were able to pass for over 250. So it was it was good to see a balanced attack today. At, but what was most encouraging was seeing Shane Wynn have two deep touchdowns like he did today. And then Stuart, over to you. Not much talk about the defense, but you have to you have to give them credit as well. Two interceptions and special teams are recovered on onside kick. What was working so well for them today? Well, I thought T. Gray Scales' interception set the tone early. He had an interception around the 31-yard line that set up their first scoring drive. That was absolutely crucial for the defense in this game. And uh, Chase Dutra, redshirt freshman safety, also recorded his first interception. So some big plays all around, but especially with the interceptions for this defense. And also, like I said, special teams are covered onside kick. They have been struggling so far this season. What should we expect from them for the rest of the season, and how have they been improving so far? Well, every week they've improved, and that really was kind of the biggest thing in the Bowling Green loss was the special teams, you know, missed field goals, poor punting, poor coverage. But today they were good in all aspects of the special teams game, which is encouraging to see. Uh, Toth has been a lot better punting the ball since the Bowling Green game, and if he can keep doing that and keep giving us good field position, it'll give IU a, a much better road in the future as they head into a really tough stretch of their schedule. Speaking of their schedule, next weekend they will be at Iowa City to face Iowa 4-1 and one so far this year, a huge Big Ten opponent. What can we see hopefully that will transfer from this game over to next weekend? Well, hopefully you think that uh, Nate Sudfeld brings a lot of confidence from this performance into, into Iowa City next week. Obviously, 230 yards and three touchdowns. It's very impressive, you know, after struggling last week against Maryland. So, uh, you know, for them to uh, pull off a win in Iowa City next week, I think that's going to be absolutely key is for him to keep maintaining that confidence. All right, that does it all for us here at allhoosiers.com. Ben Fon, Stuart Jackson, I'm Sarah Beeson. We'll see you next weekend at Iowa City. Stay up to date for all of our coverage coming later tonight. Thanks for watching.